What up, what up, what up, boys? Welcome back to a brand new Modern Warfare video. In today's video, it's going to be something a little bit different because a lot of you guys came into my Twitch channel, asked me what uh, attachments I'm using for my guns or typed in chat or something like that. You guys have asked me what attachments I have on my weapons, even on my Instagram, you guys ask. So I'm going to show you guys just some of my best class setups. If you want to see more class setups like this when I find better ones, uh, I mean... Hit send a message in con in the comments and i'll get to that gun so for this class the mp5 i rock the monolithic um suppressor as the barrel not the muzzle um i do that because it, it gives more damage range and suppression the mobility goes down a little bit but it's not noticeable uh for stock i run the forge tack ultralight because of the um, the aim walking movement speed because when you're going around them close corners you want to shit on people while aiming uh, you could go with this but i don't suggest it or even if you want to go with the collapsible one i mean go for it but it does take down um range which i don't like and it also takes down a shit ton of recoil and control for the ammunition if you're not rocking 10 millimeter bullets you might be stupid. I'm sorry, but I don't know, man. You've got to rock the 10 millimeter bullets on this, bro. This this thing literally makes this MP5 OP, this mag. Uh, for the rear grip tape, I have the stippled one because it adds aim down sight speed and sprint to fire, which is very important for SMGs. And then I have I, I have sleight of hand because I'm always really I'm always really aggressive when I play. So I need that quick reload. I don't want to take forever. Um, moving on to the next class. You guys have asked me for my my shipment class. So you guys have probably seen this in the 100 kill gameplay. 167 kill gameplay, I think. So this is the attachments on this gun. I have the monolithic suppressor for damage. So it's like even crazier in shipment. I got sound suppression and damage range. It takes down a little bit of aim down sight speed, but it really doesn't matter. Again, I went with the damage on this one. I went with the polygonal uh, barrel. Again, aim down sight speed goes down, but it doesn't matter. Because then you throw this tack laser on, everything fucking shoots up. Same thing with the no stock. You add that shit to it, everything shoots up. No stock, moving speed, aim down sight speed. And then the stippled grip tape again to finish it off and just add some crazy ass stats to it. This is mostly just good for hardcore. I don't recommend it. Recommend using it in core because it kind of shit. But whatever. Um, you guys have also asked me for my foul. For my foul, I have this 13 inch barrel because of the aim down sight speed and movement speed. Because in hardcore, this thing's already a beast. So I just wanted everything just fast paced for it. You need a sight for this gun because the actual, like, how do you say it? The iron sights on this gun are trash, okay? They're ass. They're absolutely terrible. Never use it. Uh, no stock, once again, for movement speed. Stippled grip tape, once again. And then sleight of hand. Uh, once again, hardcore class. Do not use it in core or you'll probably get shit on. And this is the infamous Nuke Getter class setup for my M4A1. I'm rocking the monolithic suppressor, which you guys probably now noticed. I love suppressors on my gun. I don't like to be seen on the UAV at all. And it's just suppressors just all around feel better, I feel like. Uh, for the optic, I'm running the, um, the very first one. I just like it with this scope. I don't really like the iron sight on it or any other scope on this gun. I just feel like this looks really clean with it. Uh, for underbarrel, I'm rocking Merc foregrip because of recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Sometimes if someone comes close or I go around a corner, I need, just need a spray. That hip fire accuracy comes in clutch. I'm rocking 60 round mags because I do uh, I do need the extra bullets in my gun because if I'm running into the spawns or I'm chilling, I need to be able to shin on every single person in that area. And stippled grip tape because the mobility goes way down, which is which isn't that bad. It's still pretty fast, but not as fast as the SMGs that I've shown you guys. And what else do I have? 
I think I have a scar class. No, I don't. Okay. So I think that's it, right? Is that all the classes? Maybe my deagle class? I'm, oh, I'll show you my shotgun because actually people have asked for this one too. So I have crazy. This is the uh, shotgun class that I rock with my nuke getter. Oh, wait. No, don't I have a nuke getter class? Wait, chat. Just give me one sec, please. Okay, I don't. Okay, so this is probably the nuke getter one. So I have Merc Foregrip, again, hip fire control and recoil control, aim down sight speed. You need that when using a shotgun. You don't want your shit flying everywhere. Uh, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire once again. I have sleight of hand in case I miss my two shots and I got to reload. Once again, movement speed, aim down sight speed. I want the shotgun to be quick. And then the laser, which I actually, I would throw this on, but it lowers the mobility. So I'm probably not going to. And then the last one is it so there's one there's two in here i think no one so i have the phase setup for the car 98 you barely get hit markers with this class setup because the range is so fucking high on this i literally everything that you could possibly do for damage i have on this thing because the most recent um buff for the car 98 it already aims in really quickly so i went all with damage so i have the 27 inch barrel for this the attack laser because of the mobility, sniper scope because I want it to look like a sniper, aim down sight speed, and aim down sight speed. The stippled grip tape and the FTAC sport comb. And I'm rocking the, I think, battle pass skin. I think that's where I got it from. And now on to the Deagle. Where is it? Yes, this is it. Um, the Forge Tack Enforcer for the damage because this one is a lot shittier damage and this one's a lot better uh, once again i would throw this on but it lowers the mobility on it so i'm not trying to do that i got this for fire rate and aiming stability if you want higher fire rate then i suggest going for this but you lose a lot of control with your weapon and stipple grip tape because if i'm running them spawns i want to be quick with this thing yeah those are all the class setups that I really think that are amazing that I've used and I do recommend. So if you guys are like new starting players or going for Damascus or just players that want to use some good weapons and good class setups, I recommend using some of these. Um, definitely switch off some things. Definitely add some stuff on to what you see fit or leave it as as is if you really like it. So that's going to be the video for today. I am uploading tomorrow. And the day after that. So make sure you guys check those out. And yeah. So it's going to be a triple upload. Like for th in three days though. So yeah. Take care everybody. Happy New Year's. And peace the fuck out Girl Scouts.